Hello everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day, and welcome back to Grateful April, the event where we get to spend some time throughout the month of April reflecting upon our art journeys and practicing a bit of gratitude along the way. Today is day 23, sketches. Fill up a page, 8.5 by 11 or 8.4, <laughs> uh, full of sketches. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I do recommend doing that because the reason why I'm filling up this book or sketchbook, pages of sketchbook, <laughs> uh, is because I'm using one of the websites known as quickposes.com and they're helping me, you know, do some anatomy studies. Yeah. Um, thanks again, everybody, for your questions, your comments, your likes and all the love and support. Really appreciate it. Mm. Uh, I think we're going to get into today's question. I mean, I tried to do like 30 second sketches for this. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know what else to explain. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to get back into the questions. This one comes from crazy comic lady and it's what are your top five favorite Disney movies? Oh boy. Uh, First to kind of, <laughs> I have to narrow this down. I just, I'm just, I'm just going to say it flat out. I, I have to narrow it down because there's no way. There are just so many Disney movies I adore. And even like this list, I've been racking my brain because I'm so, I'm having such a hard time. I grew up with Disney and my mom loved Disney. So, you know, we would go on vacation to Disney World or Disneyland. So there's just like that. It consumed my childhood. <laughs> so just, um, you know, having so many movies and watching them so many times as a kid, it's really, this was insanely hard. And even as I list these off, I'm not going to list them in any particular order. Just know that a lot of other movies come incredibly close. It's not like I love these mo so much more than the others. No, no, it's more like I love you. Oh, but I love you too. But, 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 but I have to add one to the list. I can't add you both. So <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's pretty much the thought process. And we're just going to jump right into that too. So the first one is Hunchback of Notre Dame. The first one. Uh, I decided to narrow this down to animated non-Pixar, non-Studio Ghibli movies, because, yeah, I, I can't, if the other, if those are in there, 2D animation also, because I love a lot of 3D animation too, but I'm just, just, I gotta, I gotta dare it down more, I can't, eh. so yeah, Hunchback of Notre Dame, I adore the music so much, oh my gosh, the music, <gasps> and it's probably one of the most non-conventional Disney movies in the history of Disney movies, because even Movies such as Frozen and Moana, I know, we're 3D, I already said, but still, I'm trying to think of more recent Disney movies that kind of break the mold. Even they have princesses and, you know, there is this aspect of kind of like love in there, at least with Frozen. <laughs> so it, I feel like with this movie, it just, it was so different and it was really gutsy. <laughs> I felt like, yeah, Disney. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And I love Quasimodo and I just, I love the characters. Even, even the gargoyles can be funny for me. I just, I'm probably going to get some hate for that. But <laughs> oh, well. Um, number two, The Princess and the Frog. Oh my gosh. This was so beautiful. Like I can't even, I just remember seeing Tiana's blue dress and just falling in love. I could, couldn't even, even I'm looking at the cover right now on my monitor and it's just so beautiful and colorful. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I like, I really like the story too. It was really cool. I love the songs. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna say that about all of them. Love the songs, love the animation, love the everything. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, number three, Lilo and Stitch. Um, 
yeah, not much to be said here. It, it's another one of those Disney movies that's like, wow, Disney, you broke away from what you usually do. Awesome. <laughs> um, I also, it was one of the first time I ever tried to do an imp- impersonation or an impression of a character because like Stitch's voice was so different and it's, I, I can't, oh gosh, it's like, I might, I might, should I try it? <laughs> um, um, no. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, number four, Winnie the Pooh. Um, I wasn't really specific on this one because Winnie the Pooh just kind of, they have a bunch of Winnie the Pooh movies and I, I, I'm guessing just the classics really. I just grew up watching so much Winnie the Pooh that apparently from what my mother has told me when I was around three or two years old, I would pretend to be like Pooh Bear and do my stretches. And then there's a part where he bends over in front of his mirror and is doing his stretch, his morning stretches. And because he's a teddy bear, his seam rips. So like just as, as he bends down. So what he does is he leans back up, reaches his arms behind him and starts like messing with and trying to tie it back up and apparently I used to mimic this as a kid even though I didn't you know it didn't happen to me but I would just do it because he did it (laughs) and apparently my mother claims she found it on camera too I don't if I find it maybe I'll let you guys know but uh yeah it's just it was really cute and I just I love that Winnie the Pooh is one of those it just it lives on, you know, even as you grow into adulthood, I know there are some, there's still some baby toys that you can buy. And it's just, it's for, I think everyone can enjoy it too. It's really cute. I just love it so much. (laughs) It's also my childhood, all my childhood. And last, but certainly not least, pretty obvious with this one, but we're going to say it for the sake of saying it, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> um, that one, I, this is probably one of the movies, it terrified me as a kid, like the beast in the scene where the beast is first, when he confronts Belle for the first time and they're in the dungeon, it just, that part used to, it used to terrify me. And whenever he would, when you first see the beast in the beginning with um, Maurice, when he's sitting in his chair, that that scared me too. And just as the characters were scared, I would hide under my blankets. <laughs> and it was amazing too, though, because I would want to keep watching the movie over and over and over, even though it would scare me every time. <laughs> but I love the songs. Be Our Guest was probably one of my favorites of all time. And singing Beauty and the Beast, even as I'm growing up, I... <laughs> I used to dress up as Belle for Halloween. I did that three times. <laughs> like, I am kid you not. First, I did it one year as a kid. The, immediately the year after, I did it as a, kid, as, a, as a kid again. And then I wanted to be Belle the next year. My mom's like, no, be something else. <laughs> We're not going to keep doing this. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, hey, but <laughs> I ended up dressing up as Belle again in high school. So. <laughs> I still got my third chance. It worked out in the end. But yeah. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry this went on for a while. That's the thing too with these lists. It's like, oh man, these take forever. Because I feel like I need to explain myself too. <laughs> but, it's you know, I mean, it's fun. I'm going to go watch some more Disney. I want to go watch some Disney movies now, yo. <laughs> Maybe I will. After this is finished editing and uploading and all that jazz. I think I'll do that. Anyway, thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I hope you guys can tune in tomorrow for day 24. Until next time!